Hello everyone in this lecture today I'm gonna talk to you about statistical testing I'm gonna talk about when to use which statistical test I'm gonna talk about when to use t-test when to use one-way ANOVA when to use two-way ANOVA when to when to use man Whitney test or when to use Kruskal Wallis test I'm gonna talk about when to use parametric versus non-parametric test I'm also gonna talk to you about the some basic concepts in statistical testing I'm also going to talk about the test of normality to check if the data is normally distributed or not uh, so first statistical test what is statistical what does the statistical test tell us statistical test tell us that if an ex if it exists in a population how likely this effect is observed in the sample so one way to show this is the fee value uh, here is the 95% confidence interval. Here is the 99% confidence interval. So here we have control and treatment group, and we can see that there is an effect. The effect is the reduction, um, reduction of the readout in the treatment group. So the statistical test will tell us how likely uh, that this effect will be observed in the sample. Okay. So one example of which is show, which is to show p-value. Right, so uh, next thing I'm going to talk about is the variables. Variables, uh, there are one, one variable and two variables. So this is an example of one variable. Here we have control group and here we have treatment group. So basically the only one variable here is the treatment type. In the control there is no treatment but in this treatment one uh, there is treatment and this is the readout. In two variable, the graph here shows two variables. That means here we have treatment type. Uh, this is treatment type and number of days. So here is the number of days and the treatment type. And this is the readout. So two variables, two things are varying, right? Treatment type and number of days. Here only one um, parameter is variable. That is the treatment type. Okay. So I talked about the variables. I'm going to talk about groups now. So groups, as you can see here, we have one, two, three, four, five, uh, six group here. Whereas here we have only two groups, con control and the treatment. Okay. And the next thing is before performing statistical testing, first we want to determine that if our data is normally distributed or not. Uh, to determine if the data is normally distributed or not, and we have to perform some tests. One is plot frequency distribution. Another is perform tests for normality using graphite prism. Okay. So now I'm going to show you an example of how to perform test of normality using graphite prism. Okay. To perform the test of normality uh, using graphite prism. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click on analyze here okay I'm just gonna click on analyze here and after that so I'm gonna go to column analysis in the column analysis I have to select normality and log normality test and I'm gonna perform this normality test on both control as well as treatment data so okay after this I'm just gonna hit okay right so uh, I have already performed analysis here that's why I'm just gonna select this so what kind of analysis I'm going to perform I'm going to perform uh, this normal distribution. So here is the normal distribution and I'm going to perform these tests. Okay. I'm just going to perform these two uh, normality tests. Okay. So which, dist which distribution to test the normal distribution. We can also test for log normal and complete the rel relative likelihood of sampling uh, from a Gaussian, but we are going to perform normal distribution, right? So then after this, I'm going to rest yes, create QQ plot and I'm just going to hit OK. So as you can see that the result here is according to D. Augustino and Pearson test, past normality test, it says yes. So this means that our data in control uh, group has passed normality test. That means this data is normally distributed. Also in the treatment group, uh, the result is yes. Therefore, the data is normally distributed according to D. Augustino and Pearson test. According to uh, Shapiro will test also our both of the data from control as well as treatment group. They have passed normality test as you can see here by yes and yes. Right. 
So I'm also going to check the normality QQ plot. So this is the plot here, as you can see. Uh, this is treatment and this is the control, right? So both of our data, they have passed normality tests. So now we can decide on um, which statistical test to perform, about which I'm going to talk in more details. In the example that I showed in the graph pad prism, our data were normally distributed. Therefore, we will perform parametric tests, but if the data were not normally distributed, then we would have performed non-parametric tests. So another important point to consider is that we can use parametric tests anyway if the size, sample size is greater than 10 okay this is also important point okay use parametric test anyway if sample size is greater than 10 use non-parametric test if if the variables are not normally distributed and use parametric test if variables are normally distributed so these are two important considerations uh, that you must think about before performing this statistical analysis another thing that that is important in the context of the statistical analysis is that uh, you have to so uh, how to decide which which test to use uh, for the continuous data or the normally distributed data so if you have one variable and there are two groups then you can perform t-test okay there is one variable and two groups then you can perform t-test when the data is normally distributed or large sample size n is greater than 10 or when you have one variable but there are more than two groups and the sample and 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 and, and the normal there is normal distribution of the data then you can perform ANOVA okay but if there is no normal distribution but you have one variable and two groups perform man whitney test okay so you have one variable but there are two groups and and no normal distribution then perform man whitney test but if there are more than two groups and the data is also not normally distributed, then perform Kruskal Wallis, te Wallis test. But if there are two variables and more than two groups, then perform two way ANO ANOVA. Okay, this is very important, guys. One more time how to decide which test to use for the continuous data. So if the data is normally distributed or the sample size is large and equals to greater than 10, and if there are only two groups, and one variable perform t-test and if there are uh, there is one variable but there are two more than two groups and the data is normally distributed perform ANOVA but if there are two variables and there are more than two groups perform two-way ANOVA if the data is normally distributed or the sample the size is large that is n equals to greater than 10 but if there is no normal distribution uh, then if there is one variable and two groups perform man whitney test but if there are more than two groups but there is one variable perform kruskal wallis test okay i hope and for two variables and more than two groups perform two way anova i hope guys this video was helpful please like share the video and subscribe our channel to support us thank you